Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple soup. It's a sausage, kale, white cannellini bean soup. Um, the reason I want to show you this soup is because it requires very few ingredients. It's delicious. It's very um, soothing. It's not processed and you can use um, different sausages. Usually um, at the senior center when I cook for you, I use a um, kibalsa sausage, which I will dice up into very small pieces first. Um, I don't have kibalsa sausage and I'm trying to avoid running to the store every week. I'm going every two weeks like everyone else. We're trying to not go out. So um, I'm using a turkey sausage without the casing. So this is what I have right now. So this recipe, um, is flexible in the ingredients so you can actually use any type of sausage you can use without the casing you can use um, instead of the kale now I know some people cannot eat greens uh, because they're taking their own blood thinner so instead of the kale if you can have greens you can replace it by diced tomatoes so a can of diced tomatoes would work just as well um, and I think, I don't know anybody who has restrictions on the white beans. So again, three main ingredients. So I'm going to start cooking my sausage. I'm going to turn on my stove. Here we go. Throw in my sausage meat. Again, we want to make sure that we washed our hands properly before starting to cook. At least 20 seconds under hot soapy water. Um, and I'm going to use a spoon to stir it, make sure it cooks nicely. So this type of sausage I found at um, Wegmans. They sell the sausage without casing already. So it saves your step. You don't have to take the casing off because it's already done for you. Turn down my heat because it's a little too high. I want it to simmer. Now, I do not add any butter or oil because usually sausage meat contains enough fat, but this is turkey meat. So I'm gonna keep an eye to see how it does. It may need a little bit of liquid of some sort. So maybe not necessarily oil, but a little bit of water, which I will add now because it, it does look like it doesn't have a whole lot of fat content. That's what we're gonna do. what we have after five to ten minutes on the stove the meat is almost cooked all the way that's okay if it's not cooked all the way um, I'm gonna add my um, kale whoops without making a mess uh, it doesn't look like uh, I'm succeeding at that now kale will reduce as it cooks so I can add it gradually even um, There you go. Well, it all fits after all, but it's going to reduce as it cooks. And I'm going to add some water now. We need some water. So here's my water. A little bit more. So I'm going to... I'm going to add enough water, not all the way to the top. I'm going to leave two inches uh, from the top. I don't want it to be all full because I still need to add my beans at one point. So here we go. This should do. So I think the water is about two inches from the top, which is great. Um, you've managed to fit all your kale in there as you can see it's already reducing you're just gonna let it simmer and cover it and let it cook for about I'd say 20 minutes so let's leave it alone it's time to add the beans so I'm looking it's been to probably 15 to 20 minutes um, the water is boiling the kale looks almost cooked so we're gonna add 
the white cannellini beans now. There we go. And we're gonna let it simmer for a few more minutes. And we'll check the seasoning then. I decided to add some noodles uh, to my soup. So what I do is once the water is really boiling, has been cooking my kale for a while, I add about half a cup of pasta to the water. So it cooks in there. I added um, fusilis, they're called fusilis. So they look like this, this is a type of shape, but you can um, add any type of little pasta that you deem, um, that you have available in your cupboard or that you feel like. Um, so they're almost all cooked. This looks all cooked. So what I'm gonna do now, I wanna test the seasoning. Cause again, with sausage, you never know. You might end up with a very salty sausage. You don't need any extra seasoning or vice versa, such as sausage that needs more seasoning. So let's give it a shot. I have a testing spoon right here. I'm gonna take some of that broth and try it. Watch out, it could be very, very hot. It needs seasoning in my case. So again, what I have on hand is a um, broth, concentrated broth and my guess is it just needs about a teaspoon of it. So we'll check again in a few minutes, but here we go. So I've added my broth. Concentrated broth, changes the color of your broth instantly. Always change your spoons when you test. Here's another testing spoon. So let's see what we have. Perfect. We checked the seasoning and it's perfect for us. Now, of course, you may make some adjustments depending on the type of sausage you used. Um, once you feel that it's the right seasoning, you let it simmer for another 10 minutes and this is what you end up with. It's a beautiful soup. I'm gonna stir and show you. So it's got meat, a little bit of pasta, kale, nicely cooked. It's very tasty and it's ready to serve. So I'm gonna be calling my family down to have dinner. Enjoy, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Bon appétit.